Welcome back to another aired video. In today's video, we will continue our epic journey to getting more loot, fighting many players, and becoming very rich on the server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want part 3 to come out tomorrow, which is the final part of the series, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, since a huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't yet subscribed. Last video's mythical giveaway winner show now, and today we're going through another one, which is a musical sheriff hat. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. In my Discord, there's a giveaway event happening where each of you can win a free unturned skin that could even be a mythical. Make sure to join today at discord.gg slash ldg and participate today. Alright boys, we are back in uh, in our base. Got myself a really good kill last one, so that is uh, that is really good. We're also starting to make ourselves some metal crates. Now if you guys don't know, we are currently living in a base that we completely took over. This is not our base. So at some point later... Today I will definitely want to build my own base, but for now, I'm just gonna make as much metal crates as possible. We should have a lot of metal to do that, just in case the owner decides to return, <laughs> and he'll just have all of these open crates, but honestly, I don't think so. I think this base was uh, abandoned uh, a while ago. So basically, what we're going to do after this is we may go do some AG-18 runs and even dead zone runs. We still need a few stuff to do the, uh, the gas mask. Now we're just gonna put... I mean, I could just salvage this, actually. I'm gonna salvage this crate over here, and then we'll move it. And we'll put the large metal box right over there. Even though I can't put it because my teammate is AFK. Yeah, I can't put it yet. Alright, well, we'll just salvage these, and then we'll put them in between these two crates, then. It's no problem. Oh, yeah, let's put it right over there. Beautiful. And now we'll put all of the actually good loot in it. So even if we do get raided, then they wouldn't be able to... You know, get everything instantly. They would need to raid it as well. Right, let's put the military computers right in here. Then I'm going to do some uh, some quick solo runs very, very soon as well. We'll try to get ourselves everything we need for the gas mosque. That's our next priority. We did get a law from the last kill, so we're going to go get the AG-17 keycard as well. And we can start progressing with the keycards, which is obviously something that we definitely need to do. Because we haven't gotten a single one yet. We are mainly focusing on PvP. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will have it linked in the description below. Basically, in that video, what happened was we just killed a lot of people, got ourselves even some Fort Canal guns like the TX and the Honeybee, and we also got ourselves a GP too. But we're not going to use them just yet, obviously. Yeah, we got myself a, a few more crates. I'll put them right over here. We can actually make another large one, but for now, I'm just gonna make a few small ones. We don't have space to make another large one. You know, pick up all of this metal so that it doesn't accidentally despawn. Alright, so we did kill the owners of this car and they had four knell loads, so imagine they actually have good stuff in that in that uh, car. Oh, looks like some stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got ourselves uh, a few more guns, engine, and an anvil. We'll take everything, man. That anvil and the engine is actually so much metal. Alright, beautiful. Insane load. Always break cars on air, and this is why. Imagine we had no guns. And we just got ourselves our first guns from breaking a car. Yeah, obviously all of the car parts, we're gonna salvage them. We don't need them. But we'll keep the anvil, definitely. Ourselves two ARs, some clothes, and some ammo as well. Oh, there's people here. Oh, my teammate's dead. Killed one. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, it was a duel, man. Oh, it feels bad. Try to go back and try to kill them. They were- they seemed like they were quite geared. I kinda don't wanna lose that camping backpack, man. They're very large. Yeah, right, we're back. Yeah, my teammate got a gun this time. That's good. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take some ammo for it. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go back. Now oh, we're back. Yeah, they're still there. Duo. I'm trying to kill them. Oh, he saw me. Oh, I headshot him. Oh, they saw me, actually. Alright, that's not good. Wait, why he's pushing? What the hell? Hit him. Hit him again. Alright, he's dead. Oh, my teammate's gonna die. I got you, man. Don't worry. There we go. Let's push for the second dude. He can't TPA back. You gotta be careful of the landmine. Oh, he got hit. Hit again. Oh, he's running away. Bro, I can't hit him. Oh, I'm gonna bleed out. Oh, I hope my teammate gets him. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, feels bad. Oh, he killed them. Nice. All right, let's go. Very good. Oh, yeah, let's take everything. There we go. This was the loot of whatever... Of the guy that I killed, basically. 
kind of kind of incredible that nobody came back until then because it took me a while to CPA. But yeah, we got everything. He didn't really have anything that crazy. He had a lot of ammo and a lot of meds. Yeah, this was my gun. Let's take it back. All right, beautiful. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Point hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Oh, there's a Mega Zombie. Alright, let's take him out. There we go. We came here to uh, get the key mainly. Alright, let's see what lo- up. Uh, Alright, my teammate got him all, but that's alright. Ourselves some attachments, I guess. Now we gotta reload. Wait, I hear a car. Wait, there was somebody around. Somebody was driving a car. What? Wait, they heard the shots and probably dipped. Okay, that's crazy. Aw, oh, feels bad. I wish we got ourselves a kill over here. Oh, somebody just died to a landmine. I don't know if I should tr go try to see what loot he had or if we should focus on getting uh, the key first. I don't wanna die with having the law out, basically. Well, somebody actually broke it recently. Alright, yeah, we're here. Both of us, let's get the law out of our vault. And we gotta be careful that we don't die. Well, the only thing we're here for is the key. Alright, we got it. Yes, sir, there we go. Let's get ourselves all of this stuff in here. Get ourselves an IR spotlight, too. Alright, now let's go see what the loot of the dude that died out there had. If he had something good, that would be crazy. He wasn't in the car, because the car would have probably blown up as well. So it was probably just a naked or, or something like that. Yeah, well, I guess this is his loot. Um, <laughs> Alright, he had nothing. I'm just gonna take the meds. The meds are nice. Alright, so we're going to go to uh, AG-17. Right, we're gonna get ourselves the key from over here. In complete darkness. But at this point, I've done this so many times that I kind of know it all by heart. Yeah, so we're at the bottom right now. Key is literally right over here. There we go, we got it. Bunch of junk in here, too. Alright, my teammate's gonna get it, so... Alright, there we go. I'm gonna give him a gun. I think he depoted everything in base. Alright, so now let's go to the very top and get, uh, get the next key. Alright, we got ourselves the next one. There we go. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on getting as much stuff for the, um, the dead zone runs. Basically, that's all we need to do, so I probably just need to get myself charcoal more than anything. Oh, there we go, we got night vision. Alright, beautiful. We're both gonna get a pair, we're both going to go to uh, dead zone runs and everything. We're gonna do it all together. Usually I go solo, but today, that's not going to be the case. Today we're going both of us. So if there's people over there, it's gonna be easier for us to kill them, basically. Plus, we'll get ourselves more loot that way. We'll get ourselves more storage so we won't have to leave anything behind. So, th that's really the plan. I'm gonna make filters now, next. I should have everything to do with that, actually. Yeah, let's get ourselves... I salvage this, we'll get ourselves some electronics from it. And then from there we can make it into plastic. Yep, there we go. And then we'll make it into plastic, beautiful. Can make another one. Alright, so we still, yeah, we still just need a bit more plastic, which... We should have around. We could just salvage this as well again. And then we should have everything for the gas mask. So we should have all of the HQ fabric, the lenses. For literally two gas masks. I think I just need to get myself more charcoal for that. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a filter. We're gonna salvage this vest. We picked up the vests mainly just for these. For HQ fabric. Yeah, we could salvage this helmet too. I don't think that actually gives us HQ fabric. I think that just gives us armor plates. Oh yeah, so now what I need are the lenses. And we'll have ourselves our first gas mask. We still need to get more some more stuff, I think, for both of us to have one. We should have plenty though. I do remember actually getting a lot. Let's salvage that as well. Bro, where the hell are they? I really hope, like, we didn't let them despawn or something. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves some mesh for the second gas mask as well. We could salvage these. They could give us, um... Actually, we can salvage them. Yeah, some scopes gives us lenses, but I guess th those weren't it. And yeah, there we go. We got ourselves four lenses in the scrape. Be perfect. All right, we got ourselves a gas mask. First gas mask made. Now, for the next filter, we just need some more charcoal as well. Oh, 
Oh, there's shots going on. Uh, we both got a Gauss Mask. My teammate should definitely vault it. Yeah, there we go. Because if we die with the Gauss Mask, we would actually, I would actually be pretty upset. There's some shots going on around, so, so we gotta go. We gotta go see if we can kill them before we go in the dead zone. Got ourselves a Steely. So uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I'm dead. I left him at 3 HP. Yeah, my teammate got him. Now oh, TPA back. Bro, he jump scared me there as well. Alright, it's time for AG18. Obviously, we'll go to 19 as well. Try to get as much loot as possible from here. Obviously, the main things to get are as much, like, good Zolashes as possible. Reloading tools, rewire kit, stuff to make explosives, gunpowder, all of that, basically. Try to pick up as much items from those as possible. That, that, that's really the main things we gotta get from down here. HQ fabric is also important if we're gonna make biohazard outfits. Which we will... We definitely will. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, what? This is the same guy we just killed? How is he in here? What? Okay. Well, I'm gonna TPA back. Let me take this gun just in case. Bro, have I lost my night vision already? Oh, he's right here. Oh, my teammate's dead. Oh, I got him. I got him. All right. Bro, how did he get down here so quick? We just killed him. We gotta be careful, guys. He's probably gonna come back then if he came back this quick. Oh, my Jojo found the toolbox, I think. Yeah, we still have our toolbox and base. It's kind of good. All right, let's take out all of the zombies. Um, nothing good. We'll take the ammo belts because if we salvage those, we can get a bunch of casings for AMR too for later on. So I'll definitely take those. Well, honestly, we should just go straight to AG19. I'm kind of lost down here though. Usually I don't. Oh, well, never mind. No, I know exactly where I am. Oh, there's a mesh. I'll take that. Alright, this dude dropped some more ammo belts. I really got a hot kid in the knife and just keep using the knife. Usually I don't really loot AG18 because you can't really get anything in particularly special. Sometimes reloading tools do spawn down here. But usually I just skip completely AG18 and just go straight to 19. Which I guess a lot of people do that as well. But since we're 2 today and we have much more inventory storage... Uh, we'll, we'll have, we can do that. We got AG19 key, that's good, so let's just go straight to the dead zone. Let's hope that we get ourselves some good loot. Hope nobody looted it. If there are people there, we hope that we get to kill them. Because if we lose two Gauss Musks in one run, I will be kind of upset. Alright, here we go, our first dead zone run. And it looks like there are no zombies, so either people are here or somebody looted it recently. Right, we'll yeah, there's clothes on the floor. Somebody was here, man. If they're still here, we'll try to kill them, but there's no shots or anything, so probably not. Yeah, man, there's nothing that good. We'll take that gun, obviously. Oh, yeah, there's an empty Zolash here. Right, let's take the gum tape. Yeah, man, it's completely looted, bro. There's nothing... There's no loot around. <laughs> we got nothing from this. Just two guns, man. It's not worth it, though. Oh yeah, we are, uh, we're over here. Yeah, there's literally no zombies, none of that. Oh, we got roll of lead. Yeah, we came here as well for as much roll of lead as possible. Because if we're gonna do two biohazard outfits, we're gonna need, like, 16 roll of lead. Oh, we got ourselves an AP shell. Oh, there's another one there. We'll take that. Another, oh, rewire kit. Oh, there we go. Bro, that's actually really nice. Alright, that made this run worth it. 100%. We'll put it in vault. Oh, there's some more stuff up here. Okay, I guess they didn't loot up here. There's actually quite a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, zombies are respawning. That's good. A roll of lead. Check Rosved. I'll right, we'll take these mags. So if zombies respawned up here, they may be more down there. We could wait like a minute and see if any zombies respawn. Oh, yeah, there is a zombie right over there. Oh, Cobalt Crystal and the Mime Shells. Okay, that's actually a pretty good zombie. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take that, obviously take that, and we'll take the Cobalt Crystal. We'll put as much stuff in Vault as possible. Oh yeah, more junk. We got a Blasting Cap, that's good. We'll take this better Zolash. And we killed another one. Let's see what he had. Uh, Alright, we got Roll of Lead, that's alright. That's pretty good. Another Zolash. Kinda wanna take the Zolashes, especially since the server is high in PvP. And dying is quite easy. Oh bro, there's another Rewire Kit here, what? Alright, we don't need to though. I'm not gonna be running around with them. This was a pretty good dead zone run. I think we should get out of here now, though, because I'm gonna keep as much filters as possible. Because we're gonna be doing more runs later on. And we got ourselves a full inventory. Though, this was a really good run. Alright, so all of the explosives and ammo belts we were getting, we're just making them into gunpowder and into explosives since we got a rewire kit. And we got ourselves the toolbox, too. 
We just need the reloading tools now to actually make them into casing so that we can start, like, when we get the AMR, we can start raiding with it. But this was a pretty good run. My teammate also got us, like, he got a bunch of junk in that run, so... So, it was pretty good. Oh, there's a dude here. He's dead. Another dude there, dead as well. Alright, this guy had a... Ooh, he had a Zolash. Let's see what bro... This is bro... I think this dude is kind of more geared. Sticky grenades, okay. Oh yeah, he's a camping pack. Uh, not, nothing that crazy though, to be honest, but we'll take it all, obviously. He had a Zolash type, so we're gonna break the car, because there may be junk inside the car. Alright boys, and that was the end of day one, and then we returned on day two. Alright, so I'm back on. Jojo's been on already for a bit. I think it was just grinding around, trying to get filters so that uh, we can start doing dead zone run soon. I'm gonna just take some mags and I'm gonna TP to him. Yeah, he's over at, um... Yeah, he's, he's, he's grinding right now. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do today is a, um... Dead zone run. Yeah, there's zombies now. Perfect. That's actually really good. We're gonna try to get as much HQ fabric as possible. That is what we need to, uh, go to the dead zone next. To, to fork now, basically. We each got ourselves an extra filter, so it should be more than enough to actually finish this. There, there's a video receiver there, AP shell. Let's pop the filter. So then we'll try to do it as quickly as possible. So, whatever we still have left in our filter will go towards Fort Knell. Obviously, we're still gonna have to make more filters, but at least we'll have a little bit. Oh, we got ourselves a, a better vest, finally. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of copper coil, stacks of copper coil, and I saw another one at the top too, actually. We'll take this key. Last time we forgot it. There's a zombie here. Oh, well, nothing that crazy. We'll take the tech Rosved though and the blasting cap. There's a better helmet too. Another zombie. Let's take him out. Gunpowder and a bunch of junk. HQ fabric. Lovely. Another HQ fabric. Oh, there's a roll of lead. Perfect. Yeah, we still need a little bit more roll of lead here and there. To get two full outfits. Another stack here. Yeah, let's take that. Hard drive. Let's just do this jump. Let's go to the main area. Alright, this is a pretty good run already. We're getting all the little stuff that we still need. But we can only get them from here. Alright, W, dead zone run. We're back in base. Let's see what my teammate got as well. I got a pretty good run, honestly. Got ourselves some mime shells, drug enough. That's what I got in my inventory, and this is what I got in my vault. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Oh, he got some... Oh, he got actually quite... I think he got better stuff than me. Oh, that's really good. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful run. Really good run. Couldn't be happier with this run, actually. First run was good because of the rework kit. This run is good because of all the supplies and guns and everything. Our next step is we're making storage, but we're making ourselves more filters. We got ourselves two full biohazard outfits as well. And we're going to go to Fort Knell very, very, very soon. But before we do that, we're going to try to get ourselves a car so that we don't have to make a lot of filters. I think having a car would actually be much, much better. But then since we're going to be doing a dead zone run, two of us at the same time, we shouldn't be able, we, we shouldn't spend a long time actually looting the dead zone. But the problem is we have no more space in our base. Yeah, we can't even do that. We're gonna have to salvage these back. We have no more space in here, man. So uh, that's going to be a, a bit of an issue. And we could just put that there. We're gonna be covering a, a crate, but we'll just remember that there's a crate full of dog tags down there. Alright, lovely. We also may get a trio. There's a dude on the server that actually we used to play with and I don't think that he even realized that we're on the server. Like, he's just playing as a solo, so we made team with him. Literally just a coincidence, that's the crazy thing as well. Oh, there's a guy there. Bro, I'ma push him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's geared, at least back on everything. What the hell, why does he have so much stuff on him? Yeah, he's geared, man, let's go. Oh yeah, we're a trio now, by the way, and apparently he has a large metal base, so we're gonna move. He has like a 2x2 two two full metal, and we're gonna move our loot to his loot, to his base. That way I wouldn't have to worry about the actual owners of the base we took over, come back and take all of our loot instantly. And that is what we did. For the next hour, basically, we just started moving all of our loot to his base. He did have some stuff, he did have a few AG-19 stuff. Didn't obviously have any insane raiding gear or whatever. We had more loot than what he did, but he had a nicer base than what we did. So we just moved everything over there. Moved our beds as well, but I actually did keep my bed in the base that we took over, so that we're always closer to Tamara Complex and to the main city.
Okay, so my teammate killed somebody, but he bled out. Oh, he's... Oh, my God. What the hell? Bro was actually stacked. Oh, yeah. So they were a duo. My teammate killed one. And the other guy just left the server. He combat logged. Kind of crazy. Yeah, this is my teammate's load. There's a bunch of guns laying around. Damn. All right. Yeah, there's so many guns. Yeah, this is why I kept my, my bed over here. This All of this chaos was happening outside of the base we took over. Really happy we got a honeybee though. Yeah, this okay, so apparently he disconnected somewhere around here. Oh, there's their car here. Alright, we're gonna obviously blow it up. Maybe there's junk in the trunk. Uh looks like that is not the case though. We'll still take that. I mean, still easy metal, I guess. Alright, so I got all the dog tags that we had and I made them into metal, so I'm just gonna give it to him. As a thank you for letting us in his base. Oh, never, oh okay, he gave me gave me biohazard. Alright. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go to um, Fork now very, very soon, so... Oh, there's people here. Wait, I'm gonna help my teammate out. Wait, where are... I don't even know where they are. Oh, they're there. Okay, my teammate killed one. Nice. Alright, I got the other. Alright, very good. We found ourselves a car, by the way. I don't even have anything that crazy. Alright, so we did get ourselves a car, but um, we need to car jack it. So that's what we're gonna do. Bro, what's wrong with these zombies? Bro, die. What the hell? There we go. Alright, perfect. Yeah, we found ourselves a truck. We're just, just gonna we're just gonna drive over to Fort Nell with it. And we'll just ditch it there. But at least we'll be able to get there, basically. Oh, we had a good vest. That's nice. Alright, so let me take the car jack out of my vault. Alright. Uh, it's gonna be annoying to take it out, I think. Actually, no, there we go. Yeah, we're moving it out already. Bro, it's not even jumping. Hello? Oh, there we go. Bro, flip. Please flip. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we got ourselves a car. So, our next destination, ladies and gentlemen, is Fort Knell. And after that, we're gonna roam around the server with all of the raiding gear that we have. Already have a charge, and we're going to raid every single base that we can find. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed. Now, as I said in this video, in the next episode, the next one, we're going to go to Fort Nail and we're going to raid a lot of bases. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want part 3, let's aim for 200 likes. If we reach 200 likes in the first 24 hours, I'll post part 3 tomorrow. Also, if you guys haven't watched part 1 yet, I'll have it linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!